Well today we're going to do a quick little comparison video between the Canon M50 and the Panasonic Lumix G7. Image quality, audio quality, and that's coming right up. Alright, well today we're looking at the Lumix G7 and then the Canon M50. We're shooting at 1080p, 30 frames per second. Both of these are set to auto, standard color profile, and they're with face eye detection on. Now, face detection is on the M50, and face eye detection is on the Lumix G7. So now the lighting is the same since I'm outside here. But what I want to look at is image quality between the two. Now first we're gonna do just a quick little audio test. I have both of these set up on a tripod with an extension arm so they're both mounted side by side. But just a quick audio test of the built-in microphones of the two. We'll start with the Lumix G7. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. And now the Canon M50. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Now what I wanna do is use an external microphone Gonna use this little guy, the little Movo. I really like this Movo microphone because it's inexpensive, number one, and it gives really good audio quality sound. So what we'll do is I'll put this on each camera, do just a little sound test, and just see how the different sounds between the two as far as the preamps that are built into these cameras. All right, now using the M50 with the Movo, the little shotgun microphone, or should I say mini shotgun. So doing a quick little audio test, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And now using the Lumix G7 with the Movo, a little mini shotgun microphone, quick little audio test, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. Now it's important to keep in mind now both of these cameras they have different lenses on them. The Canon has the 15 to 45 millimeter and the Lumix has a 14 to 42 millimeter lens on it, but they're gonna be very close and comparable. So what I'm gonna do is shoot it off in the distance across the uh, pool so that you can see some of the flowers and just see some of the detail at 1080p, 30 frames per second and see how they look. Now we'll zoom in on both. Okay, so now we did the zoomed out and also a little bit of zoomed in test. But what we're gonna do now is go inside. Well, before we do that, let's do a quick little autofocus test just to see how quick the autofocus is. Now granted, they're both on face detection, but they should be able to lock in and see the image. But let's see how long it takes on the Lumix G7. And now we're gonna try it on the Canon. Lumix. And the Canon. The sharpness has not been increased in camera on either cameras, they're both set to zero. Uh, so I have not turned down the sharpness, I haven't turned on uh, or turned up the Saturation, I haven't messed with color, contrast, nothing. These are strictly on auto. White balance is also on auto. So just so we can see, how does it look? Is it nice, crisp, and clean? Now the thing about the Lumix G7, everybody knows it, and if you don't know it, the Lumix likes to hunt. It will pulse a little bit, even when it's on face and eye tracking, where the Canon M50, when it locks on, it is, it's on you. So. I like that fact, but now we're gonna go inside and just do a little low light test just to see 
how they perform in low light with auto settings. If you would, tell me in the comment section below, which one do you think looked better overall? Now we know that the M50 autofocus hands down is the best between the two, but in my opinion, the G7 handled low light a lot better. There was less noise in the image. Now, of course we can always go manual and improve upon, but this was just an auto setting test. Tell me below, what do you think? And until the next video, I'll talk to you later. Bye.